Hello, some viewers. How are you all? Welcome back to another video, guys. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can read the Excel file using Excel dot application. Without any further ado, let us start the video. So let's create a new project. So the first one console app.net framework i'll click on next so here let the framework be .net 4.7.2 i'll write here read excel through excel app i'll click on create so it has now been created few things i'll add i'll add here i'll write using system dot i need io i need using system dot runtime dot inter op services again i need using excel equal to microsoft dot office dot inter op dot excel for this right click on the project i have to add a reference so in the assembles page so type here type in the com microsoft or you can just start excel we have microsoft excel object library you can click on ok so you can see here the office the error in the office is gone now let us start the program now I'll write excel dot if you put dot we should get application now I'm using Excel. Now I'll just write Excel app equal to new Excel dot application. Because we have used Excel here with the Microsoft object, this is a different way of reading the Excel file. You might have seen the video where I was reading the Excel file based on spreadsheet. This is a different way to read, even the spreadsheet is fine. So I'll write Excel workbook equal to now I'll write Excel. So Excel app dot now here my work, workbooks dot open. Here I want to read the Excel, right? Here the Excel should be the same Excel which I have used in my previous video. I would have used this Excel sample dot XLSX. Yeah, this is the Excel which I have used in my previous video. Let us open that Excel. So I have a simple table, ID, name, and age are the columns. I have only one single row. So let me copy this uh, path. I'll right click it. I'll click on copy as path. I'll go to my program. I'll write at the rate. If you write at the rate, there is no need to give double slash. I'll read at the rate. So double quotes and I'll paste the I'll paste the path. So at the end I have to just give semicolon. So the same Excel I'm reading which I read for the spreadsheet using spreadsheet also. So here I'll write Excel dot I'll write underscore worksheet. So this will be my Excel worksheet Excel WS. So I will read this first sheet. So I'll write Excel WB dot sheets so sheets of one here you have to make sure one thing uh, the framework dotted framework which you are using if it is more than four this excel uh, will will work if it is less than two i don't think it will work so better use the framework which is more than four now here one more conditional right excel dot used range if you have seen my vb script video i'll add that video also on the right top corner of the video how to read in excel using an excel object model this uh, c sharp we are using the similar kind of thing where we are using excel workbook worksheet and all with excel dot application so if you want you can check out that video also. so i'll use excel dot range i'll write uh, excel range equal to worksheet whatever the worksheet we have used so I'll write Excel worksheet 
dot used range. So used range implies whatever the range we have used in the Excel. Let's say Excel has like more than 1 million rows, right? We don't want those 1 million rows. We want only the rows which are used. So I'll write uh, row count, column count, two things we can write here. The same thing uh, we would have used in the VB script. Column count. So I'll write equal to here also we have to use the used range only. So I'll write Excel range. So with this range you have to put dot. You have to see rows dot count. And the same thing Excel range dot columns dot count. So we got both the row count and the column count. Now let us iterate the loop. So I'll write for loop for int i equal to 1, i less than equal to row count and the other loop for running through the columns. So I'll write int uh, uh, j equal to 1, j less than row count, sorry column count less than equal to column count and j plus plus. So first we'll write if excel range dot cells so it should have cells as a method yes i comma j not equal to null and we can copy the same thing so we can write open bracket close bracket here then we'll write console dot write not write line we will do a write so excel range cells of i comma j dot to string Okay, let us write console dot write excel dot range. After that, we'll do. We have to we have to close the objects. So many objects we have created. We have excel range, excel workbook, excel worksheet, and an excel app. Okay. So first thing, what we'll do uh, after this loop, after this for loop, once this loop is over, we'll write so marshall dot release com object. So these are all com objects which we have. What is the com object we'll release? We'll release Excel range. So it is saying WS also is fine. So we'll copy the same. We'll copy the Marshall release com object. We'll paste it here. So instead of Excel object, we'll write uh, Excel range. So these two are com objects. So once we release worksheet and workbook, we can this. We can then close the workbook okay so excel workbook dot close so once we have closed the workbook we can release the memory of workbook also so i'll write workbook so once we have released the memory of the workbook also we will quit the excel so we'll write excel app so excel app dot quit once we quit the Excel app, so once we quit the Excel app, we will release the memory of Excel app also. We'll write Marshall dot release com object. So com object will be here, Excel app. So once this is done, our entire process is done. So this is a simple program. Let us now execute it. Okay, so now let me execute this. I'll click on start. Build is now started for the project. Read Excel through Excel app. Notice running the exe file. The same project is converted to exe file. So now, so one more thing I have to do, guys. So it printed, but it didn't print the value. So you can see cells of i and j. I have to put dot. I have to write instead of two string. If I put dot, I should get a value 2 dot to string. So I need values also, right? Uh, so one more thing I'll write. Console dot read key. So console dot, uh, so read key I'll write. So let us now execute it. Let me start the execution. So we got id name age 1a and 32 as the same so can can we add space so let me close this i'll concatenate concatenate i'll add space so let me execute now it should be proper by now 
So you see, ID name age one e and thirty two. This all as properly read. So I'll add this uh, code in the description. You guys can uh, work around it. Let me know in the comments below if you find uh, more ways to read an Excel. Hope you have liked the video, guys. If you like the video, please click on like. If you're a new viewer, please click on subscribe. Till then, guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye bye.